So uh, this repair goes uh, it's the same way for whether it's Chinese, whether it's Yamaha, whether it's a Honda, or whatever. Um, if you're kicking down on the Kickstarter, and it either doesn't want to come back up or it sounds like that coming back up, it's grinding against there. Um, it's very easy to miss, but I'll show you uh, what causes that and what you can do about it. So we'll uh, just loosen up a couple of bolts here. I've only got four holding this on, so I can show you guys. Obviously, uh, if you're going to be riding or actually using a scooter at all, you, you do want all of your bolts in there. Gives it a better seal, holds it tighter, holds things together better. Parts last longer. But for demonstration purposes, I'll show you what's happened here. So we'll take that off. You can uh, hold on, put the camera down for a second. Take that off. There we go. Now that I've got that off, uh, let's take this thing over to the bench here. This is my uh, fumes generator running a mower. And uh, what we have here is a box of circlips. Here's the old one. And normally it would sit on this shaft farther down, but what's happened is it's gotten worn out and slipped past it, and it's allowed this thing to be pushed farther in. So uh, instead of this spring sitting cleanly all the way around uh, this insert here, it's now uh, catching up under this uh, gear here, and it's not allowing it to go all the way back in. So it's pushing uh, a little farther into the scooter than it should be, and that's why it's uh, connecting with pieces that shouldn't and grinding. So to fix that, it's actually very simple. All we got to do is... Uh, really hard to do this uh, one-handed, but I'll try it anyway. Let's see if I can do something like this. Take this uh, first gear out here. Just jiggle that and it'll pop out. And then uh, this whole thing will just kind of slide out. Then you just shove the spring back in all the way down so it's sitting as you can see I don't know if you got enough light there but now you can see it sitting flush and even all the way around there instead of sticking up and going over it like before so now that that's sitting down there as it should uh, we can take this uh, here, flip it all the way back around, push it in, and now the back of this will rest against this metal tab here. And while that's up like that and everything's in place and nicely seated, um, it's actually not all the way down yet. It still needs to go a little bit farther, so we will just take a hammer and lightly tap it. firmly but lightly down into place a little bit more you notice how the tone changes that means it's all the way seated and then right inside uh, this little groove right there you'll see a little indent for a circlip and we will uh, simply take our circlip pliers and our new clip and drop one in. Gotta be very careful with this. 
so it doesn't drop back down in on itself. And then uh, occasionally you'll need to use a flat head and just help seat it a little bit. Don't pound on it, just kind of press it gently into place. So, now that we have our new circlip in place there, instead of this old one, you can see it's, it's not even a, a perfect circle anymore. It's just bent and distorted. It's probably been on there since 86 when the scooter was manufactured. But now that that's on there, uh, what we can do is put our uh, other gear on. This gear actually catches on that wheel that comes straight off the uh, crankshaft. And for that, we'll just uh, rotate this. And this uh, tab here goes right into that slit. So we'll rotate this with our thumb. It does take a pretty strong thumb to do this. Otherwise, you can use a screwdriver or something. Have somebody help you. And then we'll just place that back in there. So, that's all there is to it. It's all fixed. And when I put it back on, um, no more grinding, and it's just going to spring right back up nicely. And while you're at this point, it's never a bad idea to clean it all back out again. Uh, spray it off with your carb cleaner or your brakes parts cleaner or whatever. And then just put a little more grease on there and make sure everything's lubed up nicely. So it will spring back properly, and it won't cause you any more issues or squeaking or any funny noises. So, that's it. It's not that hard.